Hi everyone, this is Brian with Chef Tech Productions, and we are an authorized reseller for Blackmagic Design. Several months ago, we posted a video review of the Blackmagic ATEM-1 ME switcher, and today we want to show you the television studio model, which is a little bit smaller than the ATEM-1. As you can see, we've got several of these in stock, so feel free to give us a call anytime and discuss how you can use the ATEM television studio in your setup. Inside the box, you have several different international power supplies as well as the ATEM Television Studio itself. Let's take a look at the connections on the back of the ATEM Television Studio. During a live production, the Television Studio can have a maximum of six video inputs, even though there are eight on the back of the switcher. There are four HDMI inputs on the back of the switcher, as well as four SDI inputs. You'll notice inputs three and four are shared between SDI and HDMI, and that's like I said, you can only have a maximum of six inputs into the switcher at once. There's also a reference in for time code or sync. In the center of the video switcher, there's a heat sink on the back which sticks out about one inch from the back of the surface. Here's the output section of the television studio model. You have a USB 2.0 output which outputs program into a computer for streaming or capturing. You have two program SDI outputs, which will output either SD-SDI or HD-SDI, depending on your session. You also have two HDMI outputs. The multi-viewer shows all of your inputs on one monitor, and your program HDMI output shows program through an HDMI connection. The Ethernet port connects either directly to your switcher computer or to a network so you can access a switcher over a local area network. You also have an AES-EBU input for your audio coming into the switcher.